After a year of laptops, Zoom calls, and learning from home, students are going back to school, and tonight many families finally know when. Elementary students go back in less than a month. Thanks for joining us tonight. I'm Lisa Hughes. And I'm David Wade. Middle school students will go back at the end of April. As Christina Rex shows us, many families are relieved, while teachers are worried about classroom safety during the pandemic. At last check, the state says about 20% of school districts were still practicing all remote learning. And soon, all districts will have to move students into the classrooms five days a week. Science and math break at the same time. First grader Daniel Dorian will soon spend five days at school with his teachers and classmates. Not right now. Because that's how long a virus, mommy. Because and his mom is thrilled. It's been a long time coming. Um, it, it needed to happen a while ago, so I am really ecstatic. Tuesday, the Department of Elementary and Secondary Education announced that soon, remote and hybrid learning will no longer be allowed. Kids in elementary school need to be back to full in-person learning by April 5th, middle schoolers by April 28th, and high schoolers at a date to be determined. This guidance reflects an arrogant, top-down, one-size-fits-all view. The state's teachers' union says it wants kids in the classroom, but not through a state mandate. This decision is a hammer swung by unelected bureaucrats. It's going to upend local plans that have been thoughtfully negotiated and are in the process of being implemented. It's not the way to go. It's going to cause more harm than it will good. For this North Attleboro family, getting Daniel and soon his high school age sisters back in school fully is what mom Leanne has been fighting for. He wasn't where he was supposed to be and all I kept thinking was he's going to finish this first grade year and he's not going to have the skills. Daniel recently switched from two to four days at school. <laughs> That's funny. You're funny. I love you, buddy. Soon he'll be there all five days, and mom hopes he can catch up on what he's missed in his time at home. Opening up the school is definitely giving me the light that we're, we're almost to this, and we can get through it. And for the rest of this school year, families will still have the choice to keep their kids home with remote learning. School districts can also apply to the Department of Education for a waiver from these new rules. At the State House, Christina Rex, WBZ News. Christina, thank you.